Create new bindings. Ok, let's see if we can make the cyber shoes to work with Tarzan the game. Sweet, you can already use your thumbstick to walk in the direction of your HMD. Now let's double check for cyber shoes input. Ok, I've got speed, simulate standing on, I calibrate and follow cyber shoes. Go to controller bindings, click custom, choose another, start saying, select here cyber shoes controller, create new binding for the cyber shoes controller. Normally we use the trackpad default, that's what the information coming from the roll. Click on trackpad default, go to position. Okay, we want to map locomotion. Let's see what click can do for us. Maybe there is some um, running or sprint action. Oh, jump, we will look for that later. Ah, uh, sprint, yeah, okay. So let's have sprint here. So when the roll turns fast, then the sprint is clicked. Now let's open jump, it's a button, and select jump. OK, then what's very important now, go to the extra settings and make sure that the treadmill is returned with the left hand controller. Before I save, let's see if this already works. Go to Tarsane. Oh, you! So we are ready for saving. When we go to back to the controller options, we will see it is back on the default. Why? OK, because it shows this setting for the index controller, but the custom binding we made for the cyber shoes. Okay, don't worry, this jumps a bit around. Now we go to edit and publish this to the workshop. So, let's give it a meaningful name. In this case, it is use with Steam VR because it's an action or Steam VR input binding that is used universal regardless of the heads. Don't panic if saving takes a lot of time. For other games an interesting thing to know is that you can also use the relative to hand controller trackpad. So if the game can't be set to follow HMD, only to follow the wand or hand controller, then you will use this option. Our trackpad default is kind of a chameleon, so we have a table where depending on the Steam app ID, we can set follow wand, like follow controller, to true or false. Among other options, like the artificial inertia or the speed mapping. Okay, back to the game. So what about jumping? Well, hmm, maybe, maybe let's take a look at the interface. Okay. Yeah, should enable jumping, right? Let's see what it gives. Crouch button, depends on you. Um, yeah, let's see if it works now. Oh yeah! Yes, we can jump, you can jump. And also run and climb.